Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast and the problem reads uh, Determine the force developed in the short link DD and the tension in the cords CE and CF and uh, the reactions of the ball and socket uh, on, the on the block uh, this problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Statics uh, textbook, uh, 13th edition by R.C. Bella. So we have been asked to determine uh, the force developed in the short link BD and the tension in the cord uh, CE and CF and the reactions of the ball and socket joint A on the block. So first and foremost, we are going to draw the free body diagram. This is a 3D rigid body equilibrium uh, problem. And in 3D, we have six equations of equilibrium. Uh, the summation of forces in the X, Y, and Z and the summation of moments in the x, y, and z. So let's uh, draw the free body diagram so that we know how many unknowns we have. At the ball and socket A, ball and socket joint A, we are going to have the following reaction forces. So we have uh, AZ, okay, and then we'll have uh, AX and then we'll have um, we'll have uh, AY right so let's say uh, in this particular link let's say in this particular code Let's say we have a tension force of CF. Let's say called CE, we have another tension force of CE. Let's assume also in this link, this is a link, BD. Let's assume we have also a tension there, okay, in this link. Okay, these are all just assumed uh, assumed uh, reactions okay let's call this BD All right so how many nodes do we have we have one two one two three four five six we have six equations let's begin the work so summation of forces in the x equal to zero uh, what do we have in the x direction? We have ax. What else? Plus 6. What else? Cf is also in the x axis. And it's in the minus direction. Minus Cf. What else? That's all. Then equal to 0. Then summation of forces in the y direction. What do we have? We have ay. What else? Looks like that's the only one. This is equal to zero. Zero at zero newton. So found one. Then summation of forces in the z axis. What do we have? We have AZ. What else? Plus BD. We assumed it going up. What else? Plus CE. What else? Minus nine equal to zero all right so we have one two three four great then summation of moments about the x-axis equal to zero we're going to use the right hand thumb rule uh, so what do we have which forces are going to cause a moment about the x-axis so the only forces that will cause a moment about the x-axis are uh, 9 kilonewtons, which other one, uh, and CE, 
All right. Uh, all the forces that are parallel to x-axis will not cause any moment. And all the forces whose lever arm is equal to zero will not cause any moment. So what did I say? All parallel forces to the axis where we are getting the moments, will, we are not going to have any moment. So CF is parallel to X. 6 is parallel to X. Those ones will not cause any moment about the X axis. And uh, BD, the lever arm is zero. A, 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 Y, the lever arm is zero. And AZ, the lever arm is zero about the X axis. So we only have uh, a nine and um, CE. So using the right hand thumb rule, nine will tend to cause, uh, it will tend to cause a negative, nine will cause a negative about the X axis. So it will be minus nine times the lever arm which is 3 and um, CE will cause a positive a positive moment which will be plus CE by uh, 3 equal to 0 okay therefore CE is just going to be equal to 9 kilo newtons right uh, then we have summation of moments about the y-axis equal to 0 about the y-axis what do we have about the y-axis again all forces that are parallel to the y-axis will not have any moment will not cause any moment about the y-axis and all forces whose lever arm is equal about the y-axis is equal to zero all forces whose lever arm about the y-axis is equal to zero will not also have any moment about the y-axis so the only forces that will have a moment about the y-axis is nine okay nine and uh which other one and AZ, mm -hmm, AZ, as well as AX, no AX, uh, the, the lever arm is equal to zero, sorry, just AZ and nine. Uh, that's about it, right? AZ and nine and C, CF and CF, right? AZ, nine and CF, right? So let's start with AZ. Uh, AZ will cause, it is going to cause a negative moment using the right hand thumb rule, negative moment. So it will be minus AZ times uh, 4, okay. And then 9, of course, it will cause a positive moment. So this will be plus 9 times 4. And then we have CF. CF is going to cause uh, a negative. It's causing a negative uh, moment. So it will be minus CF times 1.5 equal to 0. Right. Okay. So then let's move to this other one which is the last equation summation of moments about the z-axis which forces are going to cause moments about the z-axis all forces that are parallel to the z-axis no moment all forces whose lever arm about the z-axis is equal to zero no moment so which forces will cause a moment about the z-axis is six uh six kilonewtons a y and C, 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 F. Okay. So, AZ, I mean, uh, AY, AY, it will cause a positive moment. It is going to cause a positive moment. So, AY times the lever arm 
which is for okay which is for um, and then we have uh, 6 6 is a negative is causing a negative is minus 6 times 3 and then CF is causing a positive moment about the z-axis so it is plus CF times uh, 3 equal to 0 great so here we are right so let's start with the last equation we already found what a y is remember this is a y is equal to what zero so we can replace it here so we can say a y here equal to zero and if that is the case then we find that our c f is just going to be equal to six six kilo newtons so we found our CF, then we can go to the second equation. We can replace our CF there. Okay, CF there equal to 6. And once we do so, uh, then we'll have the following result. We're going to have AZ equal to, we'll have AZ equal to, so 9 by 4 minus 6 by 1.5 okay and then divided by 4 so we have az equal to 6.75 kilo newtons okay 9 by 4 minus 6 by 1.5 divided by 4 6.75 so found what AZ is equal to, and uh, we have uh, CE. So we we'll come here, we we'll say AZ is just equal to 6.75, right? 6.75, and uh, CE is equal to uh, 9, therefore, uh, BD is going to be equal to, so we have 6.75 uh, minus uh, 6.75 plus plus 9 minus 9, therefore this is equal to minus 6.75 kilo newtons. Okay, I see. Uh, what else? So we have CF, we have AZ, we have CE, we have this. We now remain with uh, AX. Uh, what do we have? CF, we already know it. What is our CF? CF is equal to uh, 6. Therefore, our AX is just going to be equal to zero kilo newtons right so let's change this our bd changes our bd will be facing down like so this and uh, it is equal to our bd will be facing down and this equal to uh, 6.75 our ce will be like that and our cf will be the same direction then our az is going to be equal to uh, 6.75 let me use a different color here az is equal to 6.75 and then we have ax which is just equal to zero and then we have a y which is just also equal to zero okay so let's check if it is equilibrating in the x-axis 
we have a six we have a six okay in the y we have a nine there and then uh a nine there so nine and six point five and nine and six point five okay it looks like things are fine so let's outline ax is equal to zero okay ay is also equal to zero okay uh, bd is equal to 6.5 okay C ce is equal to uh, 9 kilo newtons okay uh, AZ is equal to 6.5, I mean 6.75, and CF is equal to 6. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right. So this is really about it, and I hope the video was helpful. And if it was, uh, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing, and liking my channel. Bye bye, and see you in my next uh, screencast.